この一族の器の浅さを。<笑>
During the instant you kill the last mob, it helps lag Yui behind if she had just started her healing animation. As the mob is killed and Kane begins moving right, Yui is still finishing her healing animation before she is able to move which will cause her to lag behind, thus widening the gap between her and the boss. Sadly, this will just require some luck and multiple tries. 3. This is probably one of the key things to do. Remember how I said earlier to turn off auto battle? Here's another reason why. I found that when any of my other characters use their ult, it messed up Yui's positioning in a negative way. Here you can see Yui is clearly far behind which is what we want. But you can see after Lucifer had used her ult, Yui's position had been automatically changed to a less desirable spot that she wouldn't have stopped at. After Lucifer's ult, Yui is now close enough to get hit by the boss. And that's pretty much all my tips when it comes to setting the strategy up for those specific battles. To recap everything I just said, here's my concluding advice. For your other three characters, pick characters that complement Kanan and or Yui. You can include Odin or Rachel for defense, and Odin or Dark Lord for attack. Having either Odin or Dark Lord will boost both your Kanan's attack and your Yui's healing. Another tip, but not required, is stripping those three characters of their equips. This ensures that they die quickly in order to allow your Yui to focus her healing on Kane. Those three characters' passive abilities still apply even after death, so don't worry. When going into battle, turn off auto battle so that Kane engages the boss with a basic attack rather than an ult, and to prevent other characters from ulting. This ensures Yui is farther from the boss. It may take multiple tries, so don't be discouraged. You can turn auto battle back on once your other three team members die and Yui is safe from the boss. Again, this strategy only works for a handful of melee bosses. Ranged bosses are usually able to pierce through everyone. And lastly, it helps to kill the last enemy preceding the boss fairly quickly and also requires some luck for Yui to start her healing animation the moment you kill the enemy so Yui's movement is delayed. Here are some of the stages with bosses that shoot projectiles or pierce through your entire team. In these cases, your Yui cannot avoid getting hit, so you're going to have to increase her defense, health, and attack so that she can sustain while healing both Kane and herself. Conversely, here are some stages with melee bosses where Yui can avoid getting hit. As long as her heal is greater than the enemy damage to Kane, you should be alright. Increase Kane's defense and Yui's attack in this case. Many bosses of this nature can only hit one or two people at a time, such as the Minotaurs. Other bosses, like Belphegor, can hit your entire team if they're within range, so keep that in mind. All of these put together allowed me to cheese stage 700 along with 600, 630, 660, and so on. I hope most of this made sense. Again, if you saw anything that was wrong, please let me know so I can fix it. I wanted to make this brief guide so that other people won't get stuck on these stages like I did for weeks. So if you found the coupon codes in the description, or the content useful, Please subscribe to my channel so you can be up to date with any videos that I put out on this topic and a variety of others. I'll be glad to have you. If you can have any further questions or comments, please write them in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching everyone. My name is Martin, and as always, have a nice day.